Have you ever wondered why apples don't fly off into space instead of falling downwards? This is gravity at work, an unseen yet fundamental force that pulls everything with mass or energy towards each other. It's the reason why we stay grounded on Earth, why planets orbit the Sun, and it plays a vital role in the grand scheme of the universe. It's so woven into our everyday lives, yet it's far from ordinary. Gravity, as familiar as it might seem, has a complex and fascinating history of discovery. The story of gravity begins with the ancient Greeks. These early philosophers, gazing up at the cosmos and down at the falling apple, began to ponder the invisible forces at work. Their inquiry was sparked by simple observations. The moon's unwavering path around the Earth, the constant downward tug on an apple's descent. Their questions, though rudimentary, were profound, setting the stage for a deeper understanding of the universe. As they strove to decipher the world around them, their observations paved the way for the next chapter in the history of gravity. Enter Sir Isaac Newton, the man who gave gravity its mathematical language. Newton's laws of motion and universal gravitation took center stage in the 17th century providing a comprehensive framework that could predict the motion of objects, whether they were apples falling from trees or planets orbiting the sun. His first law, the law of inertia, states that an object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. Newton's second law presented a mathematical relation between force, mass, and acceleration. His third law famously declared that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But the crown jewel was his law of universal gravitation, which explained that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Newton's laws held strong for centuries, but they had their limitations. As accurate as Newton's laws were, they couldn't explain everything. Indeed, the classic model of gravity struggled to account for certain phenomena. Take Mercury's orbit, for instance. Newton's laws predicted a certain path, but observations showed something slightly different. And then there's light. According to classical physics, light speed should change under gravity's influence, but experiments didn't back this up. These inconsistencies, these gaps, hinted at a deeper, more comprehensive theory waiting to be discovered. These unexplained phenomena called for a new understanding of gravity. In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein reshaped our understanding of gravity. He introduced us to a new perspective, where gravity is not a force that objects exert on each other, but rather a consequence of the curvature of space-time. So, how does this work? Imagine space-time as a stretched out rubber sheet. When you place a heavy object on it, say a bowling ball, it creates a dip, a curve. Now, if you roll a marble near the bowling ball, it will move towards it, not because of a mysterious force, but because of the curved path it has to follow. This is essentially what Einstein's theory of general relativity proposes. Celestial bodies like the Earth don't pull us down, they warp the space-time around us, and we simply move along the curves. This was a radical idea, quite a departure from the long-held Newtonian view of gravity. Einstein's theory was revolutionary, but it needed experimental verification. Experimental evidence soon confirmed Einstein's theory. One of the first and most famous verifications was the 1919 solar eclipse expedition led by Sir Arthur Eddington. Observing starlight bending around the sun, Eddington's team provided the first experimental support for Einstein's revolutionary concept. Fast forward a few decades, and we're using general relativity in our everyday lives. Believe it or not, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, relies heavily on this theory. The satellites transmitting signals to your GPS are moving at high speeds and are far from the gravitational pull of Earth, factors that affect the ticking of their onboard clocks. General relativity helps correct these time discrepancies, ensuring your GPS can pinpoint your location with impressive accuracy. But as with all scientific theories, general relativity isn't the final word. While general relativity has been successful, scientists are still on a quest for a more complete theory of gravity. The world of the very small, the quantum world, doesn't play by the rules of general relativity. It dances to its own tune, an elusive melody that we're still trying to grasp. Scientists today are on a mission, a quest for quantum gravity. They're striving to reconcile the elegant symphony of general relativity with the unpredictable jazz of quantum mechanics. This harmonization would give us a unified theory, a grand understanding of the cosmos. This quest for quantum gravity is part of a larger endeavor to understand the universe.
gravitational waves have opened a new window into the universe. Born from violent cosmic events, these ripples in space-time are detected here on Earth, giving us a new way to study the cosmos. They offer an unprecedented opportunity to observe phenomena invisible to traditional astronomy like black hole mergers and neutron star collisions. With each new detection, we learn more about these celestial titans and the very nature of gravity itself. As we continue to explore the universe, we are also unraveling the mysteries of gravity. Despite all we've learned, gravity still holds many mysteries. Among these enigmas are dark matter and dark energy. These unseen forces are believed to make up the vast majority of the universe, yet we know little about them other than their profound gravitational effects. Dark matter clings galaxies together, while dark energy propels the universe's expansion. These mysteries remind us that our understanding of gravity and the universe is still evolving. From the ancient Greeks to quantum gravity, our understanding of gravity has come a long way. We've journeyed from Newton's apple, through the bending of space-time with Einstein to the tantalizing promise of quantum gravity. We've probed the mysteries of dark matter and energy and glimpsed the future of gravitational wave astronomy. It's a thrilling voyage and it's far from over. Who knows what the next chapter in the story of gravity will be? Until then, keep looking up and wondering about the universe.